Okay. Yeah, you're on. Oh. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Boredom Busters, episode 58. I caught it because it was up 57 on the board, but it's not 50, 58. It. Um, it's uh, a beautiful Tuesday afternoon here in Roanoke, as you all know. Uh, well, most of you know, I guess. Some of you probably are not from Roanoke. Um, I know we always have one family member from the Alexandria area watching. Um, hi, Apollo, if you're watching. Um, yeah, you know. watch occasionally. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, uh, welcome to Border Busters episode 58. Today we have Katie from the Berglund Center who will be joining us uh, to talk a little bit about their program that they have going on calling, called Painting Positivity. So um, a pretty cool little program that they got going on. So we'll bring Katie on in just a couple minutes to talk to us about what they've got going on. So um, in the meantime, let's talk about uh, what we have going on, which is... Well, Roanoke Valley Kids Magazine, available live online right now. That's uh, all you got to do is go to our... Also get our digital version of the of Roanoke Valley Family on there as well. Uh, Roanoke Valley Family was delayed from a printer uh, this month. It is actually going to be in our hands tomorrow, so we'll be putting them out in food lines only and mailing them out uh, tomorrow as well. So expect to get those in the mail if you filled out the form to get them mailed to you. And where can they mail, Where can they fill out that form, Evie? They can fill out that form on our um, Facebook There page. you go, on Facebook. <laughs> very, uh, very, very good. And, of course, last but not least, the seniors graduating class of 2020. Um, that is, uh, is, we're recognizing those people as well. And you can basically just head to our website, roanoke.family, and click on the graduation cap that says, uh, well, congratulate the class of 2020, and we will um, put the, those names and pictures and everything within our magazine. We're listing all the seniors from this, that are given to us from the uh, school districts and all the private schools in the area, but you can call special attention to your uh, specific senior by sending us their picture and information. Just click on the cap, graduation cap on our website, and you will get that uh, What would you do if you got like, some senior citizens? Like, <laughs> Barone. 85. Seven. You know, yep, I haven't got one yet, but you never know. <laughs> really um, funny. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, so, grandma. Um, so anyway, that's that's what we've got going on. Uh, we also announced today that our expo, which was scheduled for June 6th mm -hmm. at the Salem Civic Center, has been uh, canceled oh. completely as uh, we were going to push it into uh, August and September, but we're just not 100% sure that it's going to be best. And there wasn't a lot of dates available at the time. So, and the Salem Civic Center also has canceled the Salem Fair in July. Um, so we just weren't able to make June 6th work if they weren't going to be able to make July, uh, the Salem Fair in July work. So we apologize for that, but we'll be back bigger, better, and stronger next year. So thanks for your support on that and keep your eyes and ears open. So, uh, so again, we're going to be bringing on Katie with uh, the Berglund Center here in uh, to talk about uh, their, their uh painting positivity uh, event that they have going on. Uh, so we're going to be bringing Katie on right now. So uh, Katie uh, should be there. Hopefully she can hear me. How Thanks for having me on. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. And uh, we definitely want to learn a little bit about what the Berglund Center is doing uh, with no events. Um, I think you guys have been <laughs> dormant now for almost, I guess, two months now, right? Yeah, right about that. Yeah, it's definitely been a change for us. I mean, we're used to screaming fans coming in the building, but uh, we're trying to switch it up as much as we can. We've been doing um, our Play at Home concert series, so every Wednesday and Friday. We are still bringing entertainment. It's just virtual entertainment. Awesome. And then, yeah, and then Painting Positivity is an initiative that we started. Um, it's actually a contest for people, and essentially we're just trying to spread positivity during this time, but then also – you know, uh, enable people to reminisce on this time in a positive way and take the aspects of, of COVID-19 that the good things that came out of it. And that's, that's kind of what the, the premise was behind this. Well, awesome. Well, my, my daughter, who is the, my, my, my 15 year old daughter, who's the producer of the show, she sits behind a computer. She loves painting. So when, and she doesn't know anything about this yet. So you're, she, you might learn a little something if you can hear me over there with your headphones on. Um, this might be something you want to part, partake in. Um, so anyway, um, so tell us a little bit about painting positivity and, and, and exactly, I guess a little bit about, you know, 
just a little bit about the the, the idea and what, what, what it is. Yeah, so we what essentially it is is a contest where anybody, kids of all ages, adults of all ages, anybody of all ages can submit art um, and they can paint a picture, they can use colored pencils, they can use markers, crayons. If somebody's a graphic designer and they want to design something that just um, you know, emulates the, the positive aspect of, uh, that has come from COVID-19, they can then submit it to us uh, via email at berglandctr, Berglund Center, berglandctr at gmail.com or okay. on Facebook Messenger. And essentially, of course, that's going to be a picture of it you know they take a photo of it and send that to us for now so that we have an idea of how many submissions we have okay and then whatever artwork is chosen uh, we will then take that once our building opens back up and people can then bring that artwork to us and the plan with it is to get that art digitized so that we can then make it into decals and we have about six um, blank trash cans that we need decorated across our Coliseum, which we have thousands of fans come through per year. And the idea is to get those decals and put them on all sides of the trash cans and that's, do just, yeah, a collage of positivity. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, taking some homemade artwork, um, you know, some positive uh, vibes and putting it on, well, other something otherwise that's um, you know, an eyesore in the, in the Berglund Center, exactly. I guess, right? the trash can. <laughs> and, and kind of positively impacting that as well. So that's, that's an awesome idea. Um, my daughter is, uh, is smiling over there. I can, I can see her, <laughs> the wheels turning in her head already. Um, so that's, that's awesome. So, uh, once again, let me, so I'm going to tell her, make sure she's got the email address. It's berglundctr at gmail.com. That's how you can submit. Yes, and then or Facebook Messenger, and I'm looking forward now to her submission. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, she, I'm sure she'll get something to you. So, tell it. Yeah, berglandctr at gmail dot com. Put that in the comments, or they can just Facebook message them. Um, C C what? CTR. So center. Yeah, like the abbreviation for center. Um, so why? Tell me a little bit. Why did you guys uh, decide to do this? How did you guys come up with the idea? Um, you can take all the credit um, if you want. You know, don't, don't worry. I can't sure. take all the credit, <laughs> but I did. I did work on it for sure. Um, yeah, actually, it was just something that uh, our marketing team, it's Robert and I, and um, he actually had this great idea of figuring out a way to you know, spread positivity, but then also decorate these trash cans that we've been trying to decorate for a long time and figure out how we're going to decorate them because black blank trash cans have been very boring in our building. So <laughs> we were trying to figure out a way to do that. And it was like, well, what do we have going on right now? We want, we want people to be able to spread that positivity and also see their take on it, whether they've gotten more um, family time out of out of this or whether they've taken up cooking, baking. I personally started baking bread. So I think my picture would include that in it somewhere. Nice. But yeah, so just kind of uh, reminisce on that. And, and that was kind of the basis behind it. And then we're like, well, how do we, you know, how do we turn this into something? And well, let's make it a contest because contests are always fun. People like mm -hmm. winning, <laughs> not necessarily <laughs> losing, but people like winning. Um, and, you know, and just and figure out a way for, for people to spread the love. And, and that was kind of the idea behind it and how we came up with it and then painting positivity just seemed like a fitting name and, and that's where it all started. Great. Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely, it's a wonderful, wonderful idea, um, especially since you guys, um, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit slow right now with nothing going on, no yes. really our dogs games, no, no concerts, no uh, special events. So um, tell right. us uh, what, how long is this going to go on for? Um, and you know, we got the address Berglund Center, uh, berglundctr at gmail.com to submit, but uh, when, what, what is the time frame for this? So, you know, we didn't really put a, a, an end date on it just because there's not really an end date right now for us either. So we don't really sure. know when all this is going to, uh, you know, going to end for us either. But it's uh, pretty much just send, keep sending the artwork in. We okay. have four sides to each trash can. So times that by six is 24. And we can either do multiple collages on one side or if we have just one piece of artwork that we want to, you know, make bigger on one side of the trash can that's kind of our idea behind it so we're kind of taking it step by step we don't really you know have a an idea to turn anybody down or you know this is their yeah. perspective on on this time so it's just mainly you know until we get enough artwork we feel so yeah, and, as and, of right now we're not there yet so yeah and, and who knows when this is going to end i mean for hopefully right. for your sake and our sake and everything we 
we're able, you know, everyone's able to go to events and everything in, in July or, or August, right. but you know, we don't, we don't really know what's going to happen and what's going to go on. I mean, we have our new year's event every year at, uh, at the Berglund center and right. uh, where we haven't, we haven't started planning that we do that. You well, actually, we do that. Typically we start doing that in June and it's already, May. <laughs> oh my God. Um, so <laughs> typically know, start, time has flown. <laughs> I know. So typically we start planning that in June, um, which I guess I have to get on the ball and start planning that. But um, uh, you know, and, and I, we talked, I talked last week to somebody on staff and I, I was, you know, I mean, we are, pl we're going to, we're going to plan it, but um, you know, I just, I'm, I'm a little scared of what that, yeah. what even, what even that means because you know, New Year's are people uh, going to be ready for? I, I just don't know. So we got to right. figure we got to figure that out. But that's a that's a separate discussion. I got to call Kathy and, and talk to her about that. So um, you know. But anyway, in the meantime, uh, painting positivity. So everybody, mm -hmm. uh, get your pencils and your uh, color uh, crayons and your paint and everything. Get them out. Send all that in. Send all the uh, great paintings and creations to to Katie over at the Berglund Center, uh, mm -hmm. berglundctr at gmail dot com. So, uh, okay. anything else you guys got going on that you want to talk about? I mean, obviously not no no events coming up, but anything else that you want to? <laughs> the virtual uh, events. Well, tomorrow night we do have Jason Long. He's going to be performing some music, and then uh, Friday night we're actually doing our first double feature of concerts. So we'll have. One, and all it is is on Facebook and Instagram. People can um, log into their pages and go to our live uh, video, and awesome. they see these concerts. They're doing them from home. So um, nice. we do have two concerts on Friday, and the second one is – well, the first one will be 7 p.m. with Bradley Steele. Second one will be um, 9 p.m., and it's actually – we're bringing back DJ Flex and DJ Showtime to give us music from the – for the soul, music for the soul. So you get to dance at home awesome. <laughs> in your well, living room. Yeah. So how, we brought we brought them back. We had them a couple weeks ago, and it was a great hit. So awesome. How long? Back. How long do the events typically go for people that are you know tuning in and uh, on on Facebook? Yeah, it just kind of depends. Around forty five minutes to an hour and a half, just kind of they've ranged from there. But um, I think DJ Showtime is is going to be on for a little bit. He wants to. He wants to bring some good fun to your Friday evening. So <laughs> awesome. a few hours. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to it. But um, pretty much we've we've we're just trying to, you know, keep up with the times and take things a day at a time and and um, still bring you entertainment. So great. That's well, that's behind it. That's awesome. We, I mean, that's it's really great in this, these times. I mean, uh, you know, uh, everyone's trying to do things a little bit different, and we're, we have we, we're living a little bit of a different world, a, a big, very much different world. Um, but uh, you know, we appreciate uh, you guys doing the painting positivity and sharing that with us. And uh, you know, we'll have to I'll have to reach out to you after, uh, separately and see if we can if there's anything we can do. And and uh, also, uh, my daughter's already I think drawing <laughs> right now. So perfect. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Well, yeah, She'll get well, right on it. So thank you, Katie, for joining us. We appreciate it and um, stay safe. And uh, we'll hope, we hope to see you soon in, in person. Yeah, thanks for having me. And you stay safe as well. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, that was Katie with the Bergen Center talking about po painting positivity. What an awesome idea to get us uh, out there if you are an artist. Even if you're not an artist, you just like to draw, you like to use your crayons and color. Um, just send over to the Berglund Center, berglundctr at gmail.com. Um, something, uh, your artwork highlighting uh, positive, good, humanitarian things, uh, to, just to show a little silver lining in this, in this pandemic crisis that we're in. And uh, it really does stink what's going on, but um, not much that we can do at this point except trying to stay safe and support each other. So uh, let's hope, let's cross our fingers uh, and hope that uh, it ends soon. But until then, uh, let's try to be as positive and uh, helpful to each other as possible. So, um, well, the most important part of the day. Baseball numbers. Oh, also, Evie's teacher is watching and says hi. Oh, I'm, oh, well, I'm awesome, spirit. awesome. So Evie's teacher is is watching. Um, Evie's got all her homework done, um, and she's uh, she's done all her homework till the end of the year at this point. She is literally waiting. How does she know? She's waiting for that end of the day, end of the year. She's she tells me every day. She's like, I just I've got everything done. I got I don't so I, I got um, everything done. Hello. Yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to go. Let's 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 bring on the summer, right? I mean that's that's pretty much it. So, yeah. um, so uh, number fifty eight, Yankee number fifty eight. Who in the world could that possibly be? And honestly. I don't really know because out of all the numbers that have come up in the in the, since we've been doing this, we started at 22 or 23. 
22 uh, because Paul O'Neill was 21. I think we started with 22 because the joke was Jacoby Ellsbury, which... Yeah, I remember Jacoby Ellsbury. Yeah. So, number 58, I mean, honestly, there's, like, literally nobody that has worn 58 that is even remotely a good player. Um, no offense. is really just not a lot on here. Um, there's a... a, a there's a pitcher uh, for two years in 2005-2006, who uh, just because his name is funny, Coulter Bean. Uh, there's a pitcher from 2000 named Randy Choate. TJ then, Beam and Coulter Bean. Yeah. And who, it's funny. Randy Choate had a more different number later on. There's Juan Espino, who played four years with the Yankees, 82 through 80. 80 well, two, four years, 82 through 86, but 84, he, I guess he did well. He was in the minors. Again, not a great player, barely played. Um, nobody on this list. Great. So, the only person that I'm going to say, and it's not even his main number, but um, Alfonso Soriano wore number 58 in 1999. That was his first year in the majors, Alfonso Soriano. Um, and then he switched to uh, 33. Uh, switched to 53, but 54 for a year. He jumped all over the place. Then he was 33 in, in his uh, 2001. And then he uh, switched to number 12 uh, with the Yankees when he played with them for his second time around in 2013 and 14. And he was a two-time All-Star, 40-40 guy. Um, he wore 58 for one season. So I'm just going to say Alfonso Soriano, but, um, man, that's a really bad number. There's nobody there that's good. Yeah. So. Oh, well. So tomorrow night um, we'll be back here again live, of course, like we do every yeah. single night. Uh, with someone from the no. Yeah, phys no. physicians to uh, women, but it doesn't say who. Yeah, physicians to women uh, will, should be joining us tomorrow. Um, somebody from physicians to women. We have to confirm who that is, um, but physicians to women should be joining us tomorrow night. And then on Thursday night we have Alan uh, Lawrence, the GM from the Salem Red Sox, joining us. Um, he'll be on there on Thursday. So. Uh, that's it for tonight. Thanks so much uh, to Katie from the Berglund Center. Remember, submit your artwork to berglundctr at gmail.com. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We'll, we'll see you tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow, Evie doesn't have school, so she's a little bit happy. She's going to go have a dance party um, right over to the side. And, you know, tomorrow, I think Wednesday, they, she said, Katie said they have a concert. So tomorrow night, even if you don't have school, you can actually go on Facebook and Dance yeah. to the live music that the Berglund Center oh, will Oh, the show. live music, the dancing music is going to be on Friday. Yeah, the dance music is going to be on a Friday. Though. I'm going to be up at 9 o'clock at night doing things. There you go. Well, we'll be here. Maybe we'll broadcast dancing live. We'll see. That'd be great. Or maybe not. But we anyway. We do it. Yeah, we can, you could just have us, us dancing live and then the Berglund Center dancing live music so you can have the two of them next to each other. I think that's a great idea. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Wash your hands, stay safe, and uh, adios.